Hello and welcome, I am Aruma. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Hitmon as King Edward IV of England. Now, we do have a bastard son, King Robert, who's four now, but we need to somehow arrange for his uh, untimely death so that our Prince Edward of England, the fifth, can, can take over. Now, I can't recall, um, this isn't something I've done frequently or recently, but um, I'm fairly certain that you cannot just grant a bishopric to your son. You cannot do that directly, but I think it might be possible to appoint a successor. Maybe we can appoint him as a successor later on. When he's when he once he's of age. Not sure. To be honest, I actually have not played very many Catholic playthroughs in the recent months. So we're trying to get home. Um, the Holy Roman Empire bothered us a bit and made us go to war over something silly, so... I think we need a period of great peace so that we can get rid of some of our vassal levies raised too long penalty. It's getting kind of high. 32 is actually quite significant in this mod because you get less... You get less opinion from prestige and from other things, so... You know, when you nerf the prestige that you get from those things, it effectively... Um... Well, it... It nerfs it in other areas, if that makes sense. Looks like this is our retinue here. My liege, I believe that one of your vassals can be discouraged from associating with conspiratorial factions. Okay. Ooh, the Pope is very upset. Are we improving relations with the Pope? We should be. He doesn't really like us either. Factions. Um, I don't even remember where I have had my spy master. He is currently working in this place against Duke Charles II. So we're talking about getting Duke Charles II out of conspiratorial factions. Duke David, you. Oh wait, that's. I think that's the good one. I think you want people in that. Duke John. Who was it again? Duke Charles II of Poitou. Well, let's check his traits. He is slothful and content. I don't think either of those will work. He doesn't really have like any trait that we can appeal to, like kindness, just... Um, content, I don't think. Maybe we can threaten him. Let's, let's try it. I don't remember what the exact modifiers are, which, which traits will work. I ask your forgiveness if I have done something to offend. I obviously wouldn't dream of associating with any faction against you. I guess because he's content, we can do that to him, yeah. That's the most reasonable thing. My vassal, Duchess Mary of Surrey, has requested that a lower rank vassal should be serving her rather than me. So she is the Duchess of Surrey, which is down here, and she wants the Count of Kent or the Earl, as he likes to call himself, to serve her directly. That is a fairly reasonable request. It is her duchy. And it's probably causing her to not like me as much as she could. She's not ambitious, so it's only minus 25, but... She's possessed and homosexual. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay with it, actually. That is fine. That's just a little bit less for me to macro. A son was born to King Edward. This one is quick! Well, clearly... This one is also going to be named Edward. On the off chance that we actually get rid of Robert that way, for sure, we're Edward V. I like to increment the name, you know? A long line of Edwards. So perhaps we can educate our son, Robert, and make him jump off a cliff or something. You know, there's nasty events that can happen. Many of my important vassals sent riders to let us know that they are meeting to discuss my rule. That appears to be this faction thing. I think this faction is like a... Maybe a placeholder faction that if they like you, they join so that they don't join other factions or something. I'm not really I'm not really sure. Because they've never done anything. You know. Just seems rather strange. Duke David. That better be a sign that you like me. My personal diplomacy is just atrocious. And we still have failed to improve our stewardship by just one point. I'm going to cancel the ambition and then pick a new one, like, say, improve diplomacy. Perhaps that'll work out better for us. 
I could make my wife into our steward, but that'll actually lower our income because your income is determined by state stewardship. It's, um, you know, you take this number and then it's 2% per state stewardship in bonus. So stewardship plus 36%. The problem is that if you use your wife, then you don't get the bonus from half of her stewardship. Right now we're getting half of 19 rounded down, which is 8. Or sorry, 9. So she is the best, but we're actually going to go with Earl of Flanders. He wants to become steward anyway. So we'll satisfy his ambition. Click taxes in the capital. And now when we go here, we should see an increased, yeah, 72% improved. It's not exactly, I can't remember what the number is. There's like a base threshold, like 10, and then it's 2% per point after that. I'm not sure. But, doesn't matter. Today you work cook, your personal cook prepared yet another meal by boiling. Remembering the derisive Byzantine maxim, the lazy cook prepares everything by boiling. You decide you might as well ask your cook why he is so lazy. Trying to look intimidating as possible, you approach the cook and tell him, Don't be lazy. <laughs> if you work hard, everyone will appreciate it. I'm going to be a vice, an advice giver, pick up some diplomacy and learning for a little while. Some people might care, but personally I think it's fine that you're being... Probably lazy is the word behind that trait. Chance I could become content or cook different varieties of food with... Maybe with garum. Yeah, let's do that one. Don't be lazy, stupid cook. Yeah, it's going to take a while for these to tick down. Duke Lawrence, very upset with me. And he's ambitious. Desires the Kingdom of Wales. Would be a shame if something were to happen to him. But I don't want to get caught and piss everyone off. I would like to increase the size of my personal domain right now. Let's try to revoke Essex again, just see if anything's changed, if anyone wants to join. Uh, cool, we're going to become a scholar. Very nice. I believe the scholar is what, more learning? Two learning? One learning. One learning, one stewardship. Okay. Prince Robert the Bastard needs an educator. Well, we're definitely going to educate him ourselves, because if he comes to us with a bloody kitchen knife or something, we're going to push him down the stairs, or whatever that trait, whatever that event is, we're going to try to kill him. Our prisoner is complaining about her dark cell. Oh yes, that's right. In the last time I was playing, I was really, really interested in these buildings. These small centers of trade. They seem so amazing. My son Robert is a charitable little rascal. He just gave away his newest toy to the Smith's son. I'm going to try to make him into a crappy character, actually. Because I want people to plot against him. I want him to get murdered. He didn't pick up anything. I'm sure we'll end up finding a plot against him. Someone's trying to fabricate a claim on me. Stop that. I could have asked every individual person to stop. But... Under my guidance, Robert's learning the art of the sword. We could imprison random counts, just for more money. Oh, that duke died. Countess Eloise of Flanders has inherited the earldom of Flanders. Well, how do you feel about me? You still, apparently, she know, knew that I was a foreign conqueror. Has it really been fewer than two years? Where did she pick up that modifier? After being born, that's weird. We do have a little bit of money. We could create some duchies, but we don't really need to. And I think... Oh, crap. Did I forget to raise some of the... Uh, that might explain why some of them are still going up. Oopsie. It happens. 40,000 troops. My wife is pregnant. Sounds like Edward is on his way. Yeah, we're probably... The, oh, yeah, we're the strongest in the world. Jerusalem is at 30,000. That is surprising. Well, they did keep a whole bunch of land up here. Normally, Jerusalem 
just gets invaded again because they have these terrible modifiers for 10 years and they can't make any troops to defend themselves. But they kept quite a bit of land, so... They're doing alright. It is storming outside yet again. Every day there's some serious thunder. Alright, so of this you are able to raise... Duke David, come on, man. He could provide us with, like, twice as many men. Duke David. Why don't you like me? My personal diplomacy is pretty crap. Do you want some money, Duke David? Oh, that's a lot of money. Oh, he wants to get married. His poor wife died. I'll find a wife for you. Here. Arrange marriage. Marry this man. <laughs> no. Um, here's a 36-year-old genius. Do you want to marry her? Why can't I arrange your marriage? Your wisdom and mercy are legendary. We request that you honor your obligation to answer this call to arms against Conrad of the Holy Roman Revolt. So Count Willem IV is, has a claim for the Holy Roman Empire. And he's rebelling with a single province. Um, well, actually, Count... Conrad is leading it, but it's being pressed on behalf of some guy named Willem. He's got 7,000 men, while the Kaiser has 4,000. Well, we'll accept, but I don't really want to help. But then again, I do want to lead troops. So, let's go and be a glorious commander. Archers with me. Let's go. What kind of modifiers do we have again? Pursuit. Morale, defense, plus 85. Holy crap, we're good. We are solid. I'm just going to go straight for the army. If you want to improve your skill at diplomacy, you need to become a competent public speaker. You talking to me? You talking to me? Okay, uh, that was a... Why did my message settings get disabled again? What the hell? Alright, this is risky, because this is all archers. Let's go into this province first. Another daughter. This one's ugly, but quick. How hideous. Throw her off the bridge. It would be like the beginning scenes of 300. Alright, so yeah. Um, I'm going to go for it. I think that our archers will blot out the sky. Alright, so we've just done 400. Killed 400 men. Oh my gosh, 1,200 men. Dead. <laughs> what are we doing? We're using the massive... Yeah, okay. So the tactics available are generic skirmish, volley tactic, inspired defense tactic. For me, it's generic skirmish, volley tactic, massive longbow volley tactic. So I think the issue is that um, these guys are not English. He's a Frankish man, while I'm English. In order to use the specialty thing, we do need to make sure that we appoint English leaders. But um, the massive longbow tactic, archers attack plus 420%. So if we look at these guys, in the melee, in the skirmish phase, 32 attack points. It's just, <laughs> it's really, really high. Uh, we don't want Robert to be just. Yeah. Archers. That was awesome. Uh, let's appoint some Englishmen. Sort of by culture. I mean, anybody that's English, I think, would be better. Let's see if they can all do it now. It might be over on day one. Yeah, we're immediately in the pursue phase. Yeah, there are no tactics in the pursuit phase, so... Well, that's pretty much the end of that war. I guess we go assault something. Sad times. I want to kill more people. I almost feel bad for having helped so much. I've done 75% of the work! <laughs> How on earth did you lose control of that holding so fast?
I'm gonna go just like assault his capital to see if we can capture that duke. At, at age 62, Duke Renaud, Renaud died bedridden and infirm. Okay, that's that's fascinating. Ooh, 42 days to prepare. Days based on fort level. When you play this late in the game and these things all have such high fort level, it's it's rather irritating. It's a pretty pretty large garrison. Hey, uh, Duke Duke Willem or Duke York, what's his name? I forget his name. Siege leader man. Never mind. All right, we'll just hang out here. Eleanor, my aunt. That's why we got that pop up. We'll invite her to court. Oh, nice! Did I just see a modifier that because we're relatives, she'll come home? That's awesome. I'm gonna order her to take her vow. Become a nun. You're a nun. This woman is li living out her days in a monastery disqualified from normal inheritance. Ha 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 ha! There goes all your claims. The Holy Roman Revolt has been ended. Okay. Well, that was pretty simple. Let's see. Can we upgrade another one of these towns, maybe? Get another small center of trade. Apparently it requires a university. We just need money. 800. Ah, cool, my liege. My work in Winchester seems to have come to fruition. For 280 gold, we can get a claim on the Prince Bishopric of Winchester. Which is something that I do want. We can't get enough support for these plots, so... Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Alright, cool, I'm gonna take a break here. I will see you again in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.